It's week three, and as expected, the mods just keep on coming. There is something for everyone, whether you want to build your settlement bigger and better, or whether you just want a shadow on your Pip-Boy light. Welcome to part three of the Fallout 4 Mod Vault. The settlement building feature in Fallout 4 is actually a lot of fun. I've been playing around with it and creating some uh, some unique places and there are probably hundreds if not thousands of combinations. I mean, forget the things that are made for you like this prefab area, but you can actually go in and create very specific things, creating your own floors, stairs, walls and so on. There are so many things you can create that you could be playing this for, well, probably weeks and not run out of things to do. However, if you're the sort of person who thinks, I just want more, I, I want even more things than they've given me here, and I want nicer things and different things, then don't worry, there is a mod that may be perfect for you. The mod is called Settlement Supplies Expanded and it does just that. It expands the sorts of things you can build in settlements. If you go along to say the structures menu and scroll across you can see a whole new section for say doors and there are a variety of new doors available. Some of them function as normal doors, some of them don't quite function that way. For example, I did notice this particularly impressive door here will open, but only like that. That is quite obviously a zoning door, so you should probably only use that for decorations, but many of the other doors seem to work just perfectly. For example, perhaps you want sliding doors into your home. Or perhaps you feel you need a jail cell for your town. And there are so many other options, I, I wouldn't even dream of showing you them all right here. And of course it's not just doors, there are walls if you want to build breeze block walls. Perhaps you want to... Maybe you want more tires, or maybe you want to build some defensive items, some platforms. There are a variety of them, some pretty damned large ones, I might add. Bridges. I can't even place this one, it's so damned big. And God knows where I'm going to put this thing. I'm trying my best to find a spot for it, but I can't. This looks like a massive metal wall. I will have to experiment. Metal ladders, for example. See if we can place those. Which looks so much neater and sturdier than the wooden ones. Remember those junk walls you were trying to defend your settlement with? <sighs> Look at this! And it's not just structures, it is also a lot of new furniture. For example, if I go under the custom beds, I can make bunk beds which I really did want actually. And yes, your uh, settlement bed capacity goes up two times for each bunk bed, which is great. You can make double beds. Um, there are really, really, really cool space age ones like this. And a lot of this furniture is actually new. It looks clean and <laughs> pleasant to use. You don't have to worry about catching something strange from it. The chairs look, well, that one looks pretty scrappy, but you can find some fairly decent and fairly clean looking chairs, modern ones. A little nicer to sit in. And all in all, there are just too many things to actually show you. The, the number of items added goes into the hundreds. There are trees, you can plant some trees if you want. You can even plant rocks. Yes, perhaps you want some rocks. There is even Bloody enormous one. Where I think that was the one. Yeah, enormous boulders that you can place. Need a spaceship? No problem. And what self-respecting homeowner doesn't have a cannon in his driveway? And if automobiles are your thing, don't worry, the mod has got you covered there as well, both in the wreck department and 
in the shiny new model department. Yes, that's right. You can actually have mint condition, pristine car. Well, not quite pristine. It looks like it could do with a clean. But still, you can have a car in your driveway. Or perhaps if you're more of a military man, something in green would be better suited for you. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, whether it's just something to place outside the house for a bit of variety, a cafeteria for your settlers to socialize in, or perhaps you just need a safe place for those private moments when you need to be alone. Whatever you need, you may find it in this mod. And if it isn't in this mod already, just keep checking back because you never know he might have added it the next time you come back. Because he seems to be trying to add pretty much everything else. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this is an absolutely awesome mod. One word of caution. If you use any of the custom containers and then place an item into them. For example, I will put my champion left arm in there and then save your game, remove the mod. I'm afraid when you load the save up again, you're going to find the container missing and all your stuff gone. So if you are going to uninstall the mod, empty the containers first. Power Armor in Fallout 4 is really well done. I really do like it. It's, it's useful, but it also has a hell of a lot of cool factor. And that cool factor is amplified by the way you get in and out of the armor. The animation is great. It really does enhance the feeling of climbing in and out of a vehicle. But it is the case that even cool things can sometimes get a little repetitive. When you've done this 50 times, you begin to start wanting to get in and out a little faster, maybe. But with a mod called Power Armor Faster Enter and Exit, it speeds the process up quite noticeably. Now I'm using the exit only version and I'll show you why in a second, but as you can see, in this version, getting into the power armor takes the same amount of time. However, quite some time actually. Um, however, if I want to get out in a hurry, there you go. And the animation is really smooth. Think of it as the character getting better and better at dismounting from the power armor. And that's how you kind of feel, isn't it, when you're in power armor. You don't feel like you're taking clothes off, you feel like you're getting out of your vehicle. It is a dismount. So this speeds the process up quite a lot. You know, you, you, you really, really, really did need the toilet. You get home and... Quick, and I'm away. The fast entry does work and it is faster, as you can see. But it doesn't look as good. It's, it's a work in progress. I think the mod author is trying to get it better, uh, but it, it isn't quite as smooth as the exit. The exit looks perfect. It looks absolutely perfect. The entry looks, well, clumsy. It looks a little clumsy. It does work, however, and if you can get past that animation, if you don't mind, and you'd rather have that than the long delay, then you might want to use that as well. If that animation does bother you, just use the fast exit and at least you've <laughs> reduced the time of one of the activities. The map in Fallout 4 is actually pretty good. It will do what it needs to do. It allows you to see where you're going. You can see all the roads and plan your route. But it's a little... well, it's a little dull, isn't it? However, a mod called Improved Map with Visible Roads changes that. The map seems to pop a little more. The roads are extremely visible and I just generally find it a little easier to use, a little more pleasant. It isn't a major change. It doesn't give you any advantages. It's just, well, it's just a little more pleasant to use. 
The last mod I'm going to show you is a mod that covers shadows, specifically shadows from your Pip-Boy light or the lack thereof. You can see here both myself and Codsworth have a shadow, shadow that is being cast by the light of the moon. However, when I put my Pip-Boy light on, Codsworth has no shadow, neither do I. Obviously, this is not very realistic. But watch what happens now that I have a mod called Pip-Boy Shadows installed. As you can see, Codsworth has now got a shadow cast by my Pip-Boy light, as do I. The mod also adds shadows for headlamp type lights, such as the mining helmet, as you can see there. But you should be warned that the light on the Pip-Boy can cause slight glitchiness with the shadows occasionally. That is a problem with the game engine, not the mod, and it probably won't be fixed any time soon. Uh, this is especially visible if you are looking at it in first person. I, in fact, I've not noticed any problems in third person, but in first person you do get some glitchiness, and I know other people have reported it. There seem to be no glitches for the headlamp shadows, and in fact, the mod author ships a version of the mod that only adds the shadows to headlamps, such as the mining helmet, and doesn't cast shadows when you're using the normal Pip-Boy light. So if you want these shadows for your mining helmet, but not for your Pip-Boy because you really are bothered by glitches, grab that version. Obviously, there will be a little bit of a performance hit. You are now casting more shadows. However, the effect will vary system to system and which light you're using. I noticed a lot less of a problem when using the mining helmet light than the Pip-Boy light. In fact, I really didn't notice any drop in frames whatsoever. This is a great mod and definitely one you should think of using, especially if you're using headlamps rather than the Pip-Boy light, the effect is great. That's the version I'm going to use, and I am going to keep my eye on the mod just in case at a later date the glitch with the Pip-Boy light is fixed, then I'll use the full version. I love the shadows. On the subject of shadows, I actually released a video a few days ago, the first ever Fallout 4 Mod Clinic video, and that was focused on a mod called Shadow Boost, which is a mod that dynamically changes the shadow distance to try and help you keep a constant frame rate. If you are interested in that, I will leave a link down below in the description and you can check that video out. And that is all we have time for in this video. I will of course be back next week with some more Fallout 4 mods for you and you are more than welcome to join me for that video. I look forward to seeing you there and until then, remember, as if you needed reminding, have fun. If you're curious as to whether I've covered a mod in one of my videos, feel free to go along to my website, gophersvids.com, and check the search functionality out. Just type the name of the mod you're interested in, open up the settings, and filter by mods only. Click for search, and you will see whether or not I've covered that mod. Click on the mod, and it will also show you any of the videos this mod appears in.